Hi, in this video we are going to look at polymer classifications. Before starting I would like to introduce what are polymers. Simply polymers are very large molecules that are comprised or built up of smaller units called monomers and monomers are the elementary unit of a polymer you can call repeating unit. Well, polymers can be classified in several ways based upon their various properties. Here we are interested in few of them. The first classification is based on composition of polymers. In this classification, we have homopolymer and copolymer. Homopolymers are consist of only one monomer and copolymers are consist of two or more monomers. We can represent homopolymer as uh, like this. So as you can see, the polymer chain is made of only one monomer. Polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride are good examples for homopolymers. And copolymers, we can further divide into tri-block polymer, tri-block random alternating gradient segmented block. Uh, Di-block means, for example, you can like this. And tri block I can represent as like this. Where we have uh, three monomer blocks here one block of A, a block of B, and block of C. And random I can show you like this. It doesn't have any particular arrangement. And alternating, so alternating would be like this. Where A monomer and B monomer are alternating. And gradient can represent and the gradient monomer we can represent like this here you can see a the number of monomers are decreasing in this way and the number of uh, monomers b are increasing and it's we can see as some uh, gradient so they are called gradient copolymers and segmented block i can represent like and this is based on polymer composition and the next classification is based on macromolecular architecture here we have linear and branched here these all are examples of linear polymers it simply means that it has a linear polymer chain so as you can see they all have linear polymer chains and the next one is branch polymers branch polymers have secondary polymer chains connected to a primary polymer chain for example if this is the uh, backbone of the uh, polymer chain there are some uh, branch polymers are connected to this so this is a branch polymer and branch polymer we can further uh, categorize into we can further divide into star graft dendrimer and network here you can see a star polymer a class of a branch polymers and uh, as you can see at least three linear chains should connect it to a central core molecule and the next one is graph polymer uh, graph polymer would like look like this and here is a dendrimer and the network polymer 
and apart from linear and branch polymer there is another type uh, called cross-linked polymer in cross-linked polymers it looks like this we have a network of polymers linear polymers we have some cross links a very good example for cross link polymer is the vulcanized rubber where we have this cross links of a sulfur sulfur bond well now let's move to our third classification well our third classification is based on response to heat we can divide polymers into thermoplastic and thermoset depend on their behavior when the when heat is applied thermoplastics are linear or branch polymers they can melt or change into different shape upon the application of heat also they can moulded and remoulded using conventional techniques the example for uh, thermoplastic are polyethylene and polystyrene and also we can uh, further divide thermoplastic polymers into crystalline and non-crystalline and the ability of polymers to crystallize depends on degree of branching that means how many branch are there in the primary uh, polymer chain and the regularity of the molecule and the next one thermosets thermosets have irreversible bond breakdowns upon heat and no reformation when cooled they degrade rather than melting heavily cross-linked polymers consist of dense 3d molecular network examples for thermosets are phenol formaldehyde and urea formaldehyde here we have to put some note about rubber they degrade rather than melt upon heating they display elastomeric properties which means they can be stretched easily to high extensions and return to the original form when the stress is released and rubbers consist of lightly uh, cross-linked macromolecular network uh, for example vulcanized rubber they have uh, sulfur sulfur cross links between hydrocarbon chains and we can uh, categorize uh, rubber into thermoplastic or thermoset depending on their various properties next one is based on in group here we are concerned about the functional group at the end of the polymer chain that means for example we can consider a polymer chain and at the end group we have a, a OH group so based on in group we have macromonomer difunctional monomer or trifunctional monomer and so on so in macromonomer we have only one uh, functional group and in difunctional monomer we have a uh, two functional group in a monomer for example here we have a OH group and a carbon double bond so we have two functional uh, groups at the end of uh, both end of this monomer so this is a, a difunctional monomer and telecelic polymer is a, a difunctional monomer where both end has the same uh, end group so for example OH and in this end OH so this is a telecelic polymer so these are the four classifications that we are interested in and also uh, we can further categorize classify uh, polymers based on the source where we have natural polymers synthetic polymers and semi-synthetic polymers and based on polymerization step growth polymerization which is condensation and chain growth polymerization so that's all i wanted to talk to you through this video and i hope i can meet you once again in another video until then take care